Hi guys, so tonight I am going to be making a cake for my sister's baby shower. Um, I've never used fondant before, I'm using fondant icing. And I'm also going to be doing different layers with chocolate and vanilla cake. Um, so I'll show you what I've got for the stuff. Um, so I've just got some natural butter which I need for the two cakes. And yes, I am just using the box ones because I don't have all the ingredients and I thought it would just be a lot quicker because I don't have too much time to get it all done. Got some free ranged eggs. Um, they said to get large ones. I've got the fondant already here and icing, milk, icing sugar and a rolling pin. And I've lined this with a cake because it needs to be a square one. Um, but yeah, so I will show you how I go with the process of this one and hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't mess it up. I'll show you a picture. Um, where will I put it? I'll just put it here. I don't know if that will work, but here. Oh, what the cake is kind of going to look like so yeah I'm going to get started so first thing I'm going to do is make the vanilla cake so I've got the vanilla cake mix which needs 80 grams of butter three large eggs and three quarters of a cup of milk I've got a big bowl and of course a spatula So it'll look like this once it's all mixed in nicely. Um, you can either do it with an electric beater or a hand beater. I just did it with my hand because I could, so why not? Um, but yeah, so we're just going to transport it from in here into the pot. So I will do that now. And then you have something that looks like this. So just flattened it all out, made sure it's all even. And I'm going to put it in the oven for 50 minutes and hopefully it'll turn out all right. So I'll show you once that's finished cooking. So the cake's just come out of the oven and I'm so excited, it looks so good. And I'm actually really happy that the top is kind of flat the whole way across. I thought it might cave up a bit and I'd have to cut that off, but I might only have to trim a little bit off. So I'll show you it now. And um, yeah, so it's got a nice little brown tint to it. It's nice and spongy. And when I put the skewer through it, it came with nothing off which was actually lucky because I did the timer for five minutes less than it said. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it in here to cool for a few minutes and then I'll get started on the next cake. Okay, so as with the vanilla one, for the chocolate fudge we obviously need the cake mix. Again, we need three quarters cup of milk, three large eggs, but this time we need 125 grams of butter. So I've got all the ingredients out and I'll quickly just show you the process again and then I'll show you when the cake is out of the oven. Okay, so the chocolate cake has just come out of the oven and like the vanilla one, it's looking really good. Skewer went through it again, I'll just show you this one. So I've got the chocolate and I'll show you, putting the skewer through and it comes out clean and again I did this one for five minutes less um, but yeah it looks really good so I'm gonna let it cool a little bit um, I'll show you the vanilla one now so this is the vanilla one it came out perfectly it's pretty much all cooled off now I'll just try to show you underneath didn't get stuck or anything um, yeah okay so both the cakes are cooling now the vanilla one obviously is all nice and cool the chocolate one is still really warm so I'm gonna leave them for tonight but tomorrow I will come back and I will start to um, begin the decorating process so what I'm going to do is get the um, vanilla one and I'm going to put it on top of the chocolate one um, obviously I'll need to trim this one up a little bit and then same with this one and then yes yeah, so I'll put some of the icing that I've got here in between them to keep them together I will then coat the outside and then I can start using the fondant so I'll show that to you very shortly. So it's the next morning now and my cakes are still covered with tin foil but I'm going to unwrap them and I'm going to start um, trimming them up so they can both stack on top of each other and I'll show you once that's done and then I'll show you the icing part. So as you can see I've now laid the vanilla one on top of the chocolate one 
and I've also put the vanilla icing in between so that it sticks and now I need to go around kind of like what I've got here and trim it so that it's all flat and even. Okay so the all, sides are all flat so they all align with each other now and I'm just going to coat it in chocolate so you will see that right now. So the cake is now covered in icing so I'm going to let that set and then I'm kind of going to go around it a bit after that and then I can start on the fondant so I'm probably just going to end this video here and then I will make another video of the actual fondant making itself. <laughs>